See how that makes it not wrong either. Um, I think just because that we are able to eat plants, I don't think, I don't think that that is uh, like, if I were to eat meat, right? Uh, you also don't die from eating meat, so that means you can eat meat. So why wouldn't you, uh, like nature obviously wanted us to eat meat. Um, if Wait, we weren't able to I don't eat, see how that wouldn't make it wrong. I don't see how that would make it wrong either. That wouldn't make, that would make it not wrong either. We wouldn't be able to digest meat if we couldn't eat meat, and the fact that we can eat meat shows that our bodies can handle it. So that means that that means it's not vegan, wrong. Uh, being vegan is not natural. Does that make it not does that make it not wrong to eat meat? Make it not wrong. Yeah. Does that make it not wrong to eat meat? It's perfectly okay to eat meat because our bodies can handle it. So. Oh, that's an interesting. I well, mean, if you cross the Vizot gap right there, my dude, can you lay that out? If you're, if you're, you're obviously meant to eat meat if your body can handle the meat. So if you don't eat meat, you're obviously lacking in some sort of nutrition because your body can handle it. Okay, there's a, a lot of ridiculous false claims there, but like the the principal thing is just that it doesn't follow that it's not wrong from that. You're just taking a set of descriptive premises and you're drawing an, a, a prescriptive conclusion like My just try to thing i have to say I, I just love when like they don't realize they're talking to a medical doctor and they start making completely bogus medical claims and then just get, get absolutely annihilated it's all a personal fave of mine well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just the research the, the, the research right. studies yeah, the, the, the empirical claims are just nonsense, but I'm not even talking about the empirical claims. Like, don't get me wrong, like, when he's talking about nutritional deficiencies, like, he's like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But I don't even need to go there. Like, he's still lost on philosophy, and he's just, he's just, he's, he doesn't even realize he's trying to cross an Azot gap right now. You, you do admit that there's deficiencies in the vegan diet. Not intrinsic to the vegan diet. I admit there's deficiencies in all sorts of diets. What if I told you that there wasn't? Then you would be wrong. I mean, if you can't get B12 through a vegan diet, uh, then you have to supplement. You realize you're supplementing that's part the of, entire that's food. That's part of, yeah, that's considered part of that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, we, we supplement. But and, it's not necessarily a supplement if you're not getting any of it. Like, you're not adding on to it. You're completely replacing it. Yeah. So it's not necessarily a supplement. You're completely replacing well, well, an entire... Well, just real technically, it's not that we're not getting any of it. You can get very trace small amounts of it. It's just not um, sufficient quality, quantity. So it is. it so, technically is a supplement. But, it, but even if it wasn't, it still wouldn't matter. So knowing that that you're not that you're getting subpar nutrients, you're okay with living your life at not its fullest. Like you were living. Well, a well life. I don't know that it's not its fullest because I'm supplementing. Well, like I don't see said, why it makes a difference whether I get it through a supplement or through the actual food. I mean, if if you realize that the supplement is not natural, right? Like, why would I care about that? Uh, because it's synthetic. Why would I care about that? It's, it obviously shows that you are, uh, you are hiding, like, from the truth. How does it show that? The truth because if I'm you're able about? to get it, if you're able to get the nutrients through a certain food just by consumption, then why wouldn't you just do that? Why would you need to supplement it? You wouldn't be able to get that in nature, right? Because, because well, there's a you, couple you would things. never be able to do that back in the day. Why the only I would, reason you were able to do I that would. now is because of modern technology. Why would I care about that? Well, because there's now you are with modern not technology. Able. We don't seem to think it's a problem because we could only do it with modern technology. Like, why would I? What reason do I have to care about? The only reason I can get it is through modern technology. Uh, I mean, it just goes to show that if if it wasn't for modern technology, you would die. And 
it, now we have modern technology and I won't. Why, why would I care about that? Why would I care if it's not natural? It's, it's, <laughs> oh my God. I don't, dude. Cool. It, 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 if, you're not, if you're not able to get it through, if you're not able to get all your nutrients through plants, like in nature, like without men helping you, like creating things with the, our advanced technology that we have now, it should show that it was not meant to be. Wait, what does that mean, meant meant to be? It's so by mean you to be, never supposed to live you off the diet that you're living off now. If so you can by, get through your diet and you just have ask a clarification question. When you say it's not meant to be, do you mean that it like won't be as healthy? Yes. Oh, what's the argument for that? Won't be as healthy? Yeah, what's the argument for that? Uh, you wouldn't be able to survive because you wouldn't have the technology of doing so. Yeah, but what's the argument that it would be less healthy in a context where you do have the technology to do so? It's uh, simply not natural. It's man-made. Well, you've already said that. Now we're going back in a circle. So we're going into circular reasoning now. So uh -huh. let's, try to, let's try to come up with a, with hey, a, a reason. Let's try to come up with a reason that that's not circular reasoning. So, let's try to make if, an argument. Uh, that if we didn't not... have medicine, right, you wouldn't be able to do this diet. But people have obviously survived without doing this diet. And therefore, people therefore are, it's will also survive doing the diet with with the supplement. What if I said that because you are uh, supplementing and you're not getting the real thing? Because it, like it's subpar, right? Wait, you're wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? What do you mean not getting the real thing? Do you know what the real thing is? Uh, I'm not religious, but uh, the real wait, thing. What like, does it have to do with religion? Wait, wait, what? Someone Hold in on. the in the chat asked me if I was religious. Oh, okay. Well, well, look. When you say I'm not getting the real thing because I'm supplementing, what? is different about you realize you can get um cobalamin it doesn't even have to be cyanocobalamin it could be cobalamin as it's found in nature the same molecule like what is different about the molecule what do you mean by it's not the real thing i mean you're taking it in pill form right or how, yeah. how do you take it, yeah, but what it? You can take it and pill. What is what is not the real thing about pill form? What about it is not the real thing? You're not eating it in an actual food. So what it? So what it? Why would I care? Why? Okay. Well, if that's what you mean, if you if it's the same exact compound, if it's the same, sorry, same exact molecule, it's just it it had the history of being synthesized. Why would I care about that? Yeah. Why would you care about that? <laughs> Can you restate that? Well, if if you what uh, you mean I'm so by... sorry to cut you off. I, I hear Ob or Eddie kind of like talking shit on the side. I mean, you can you know try to throw in. Oh, I'm not I'm sure. I'm sure Avi just, will uh... humanely slaughter you too. So you know, just feel free to speak up. Oh man, no, I'm just backing up my boy Felix, man. You know, to repeat Eddie's pick. <laughs> sorry. To re to repeat. If the que if what you mean by not getting the real thing is just that the molecule is the exact same molecule, it's just as a history of being synthesized. Do you know that? Do you Why know would that? I? Or... Yes. Oh, because uh, uh, a little uh, article on the internet, or what? Or do you know this there's is from peer -reviewed, yeah, there's peer reviewed there's peer reviewed literature with NMR. There's looking at the actual examining what the actual molecule is it's b12 is a is a molecule that has several different isoforms so, and it, there's hydroxycobalamin there's um there's methylcobalamin and uh those those forms both appear are the real thing is what is appearing in nature is what you're i take it to be that you're defining to be the real thing and those are exactly in supplemental form but if you if all you mean by but, but you're, you're getting all that just from something you read, right? You're putting your trust into that. Well, how do you know? That, wait, wait, wait. But how do you know? Wait. Well, yes, but but you are too. Like, how do you know that I wouldn't be? Why, why would you think that I wouldn't be getting the real thing? Or why would you be thinking that there are different things? Did you read it? Is it because you read about it? 
just because I don't have to supplement or anything. I'm not dying. But that, but how do you know that that leads to anything uh, negative? Yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, if, if you don't supplement and you die, obviously there's something wrong there. Right? Why is there something? You wait, do how does that follow? It's not something you need to skip out on. How it's does something that follow? you have to do. What's the argument for that? You will die. No, you but it, but you but you won't die if you do supplement. So why is the state of supplementing with this given diet? Because I don't have to supplement, and I so won't what? die from not having to supplement. So what? Exactly. Wait, but therefore what? We both won't die. We're both doing a certain thing, and we're both not dying. What's what's? Why would we have a reason to believe that my health outcomes are going to be worse than yours? Listen, man. I just think that. You are not getting all your nutrition, especially. Okay. What's the argument for that? I think it's synthetic. What's and it? you are going to live a subpar life. You will not be as healthy as you could be if you were what's actually eating your natural diet, which is being able to digest meat. Because what's obviously you are able to, so that means that we can consume meat. You know. Okay. What's the argument? What's the argument that you? You, that you are you are going to live a subpar life. You what's are, the argument for that? Dwindling, my friend. Can I can I okay, ask the argument for that? Wait, I just want to know what the argument for all these claims are. You are anti -life. I, heard, I heard a bunch of assertions. I just didn't hear any argument for any of them. The, the argument was pretty obvious. You were gonna die if no, you don't. You're, you're but, but that's not no. But that's not an that's not an argument for I'm, I'm why. Is that not the claim? The claim no. The claim is that, um, in the context of me supplementing and do performing my diet versus him not supplementing and performing his diet, I will have worse health outcomes than he will. And I just want to know what the argument for that is. Now, if he wants to say that the argument is that if I didn't supplement, I will die, well, that's just an assertion. Like, so, okay, well, that's, we can grant that. I just don't see how it follows from that, that in the context where I am supplementing and, get, and performing my diet, and he is not supplementing and engaging in his diet, that there would be a differential health outcome. I don't see how that follows. It's not an the argument for that. Diet, the majority of them lose their period. Wait, what? The majority of women who go on the vegan diet lose their period. Now they're going to ask you for study. Okay. This, yeah, I mean, you should have a study for if you're going to claim majority. I'm no, aware. I, don't I am aware. Google it. A lot of women lose their period. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. You made a specific. You didn't say a lot of women. You said the majority of women. So let's let's make, let's let's be clear about what you claimed. So you said the majority of women who go on a vegan diet lose their periods. So let's have a study that looks at uh, oh, who go on a vegan diet. We're over, we're over 50%. We're over 50% of the women lose their periods. Okay, are, do you have a survey? Are, are you really going to humiliate yourself by mocking the idea of having to provide a source for scientific I mean, Is there's that really where you're because that would be, that'd be a, a utterly, a, like, atrociously humiliating thing to do to yourself, right? You probably don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so do you my, have my, a... my cock is 80 feet long. I have no source, but I expect you to just take it at face value, right? Is that reasonable? Fucking moron? Of course you should provide a source <laughs> brain dead take, take it at face, face value is probably the wrong way to go about it. I just know that uh, people who, who eat meat, I've never uh, had them tell me in real life that they lost their period. I just... I, I'm I, 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 I'm also I, 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 a lot of people are piping up, so I almost think I should move it to the debate room so it's just Avi is able to talk. Like, do you care, Avi? I, no, I don't, I don't care. I mean, it's also, I don't want to have to use push the dog, so I prefer it to be here anyway. Can I Can I ask, do you, do you guys... Uh, oh, what? Well, someone already started the move. All right, well, I guess we're here.
<clears throat> um, have you ever heard of something called pleiotropic antagonism? No. Wait, who's talking? Felix. Okay. So, there's this common idea that, you know, that which is in nature is good, like the behaviors we have, have historically in our evolutionary history engaged in, whether it be diet or whatnot, um, provides this survival advantage or health advantage. It's actually not true. It's not the way evolution works. In fact, in many contexts, evolution actually does the opposite. Evolution actually is sort of out to kill you. You might think like, well, that's counterintuitive. Why would evolution be out to kill me? It's just the way your genes work. Your genes are not interested in preserving your body. Their primary goal is to replicate themselves. And if your genes can make the trade-off for um, replicating themselves at the cost of shortening your body's lifespan, they'll make that choice any day. There are many behaviors where this happens. There are many examples where this happens. But this fundamental idea that that which is like natural and stuff or is, is better or evolution, uh, the diet you evolved to eat is going to be the best thing for you. It's actually, um, if you equate the advantages on both sides, you may actually have some reason to believe that the diet you evolved to eat compared to other diets with equal advantages, it's actually worse for you. And I'd encourage you to look up that phenomenon known as pleiotropic antagonism. We could go into that if you'd like. Yeah, sure. Um, oh, wait, wait, you asked me for a source, right? Do you want the source? Sure. Okay, cool. This is uh, that you are necessarily like your body would uh kill your or you like you alive like you you obviously uh your cells and everything you don't want to die right i mean it, your body is very regenerative it is not degenerative so here are several here are sources on pleiotropic antagonism did you dm them to me no I'm posting them in general would you like me to dm them to you no it don't matter I also have more sources in my study archive server, if you'd like an invite to that. Um, but fundamentally, it's just a misconception of how evolution works. Your genes don't care about your body. Yes, your body does have a desire to survive. It has ability to heal from wounds and stuff like that. But these are only because those things just happen to benefit your genes for replicating. However, there are certain conditions where your genes would be better replicated if your survival is worsened, if your body's survival is shortened. There are many examples of this in nature. Um, there are many behaviors by which replication comes at the cost of survival or lifespan. Would you like some examples of them in nature? Um, all right, like, I don't know if this is actually going with or against what you have to say, but uh, like the thing about your genes don't care how your body is. Uh, I would kind of disagree with that. Just well, no, just to be clear, your genes don't intrinsically care about uh, okay. your body. Your body. They, they care about your body to this extent that it, your body can allow them, can, can optimize their ability to, to replicate, reproduce, etc. Okay, I agree. But with they that. don't intrinsically care about your body. So there are some cases where your genes can make a trade off. Where the trade off, and the common trade off is that it increases your body's ability to survive during the fertile reproductive years at the cost, the same trade off, at the cost of decreasing your survival ability after your reproductive years. That's an example of pleiotropic antagonism. Typically, your genes are out to get you after your fertile years because they've made a lot of trade-offs to maximize your survival during your fertile years that ends up having consequences that decrease your survival post-fertile years. 
And so, and so this is your argument that uh, uh, being natural is not necessarily uh, a great thing? Not only not necessarily a great thing, there are certain examples where natural is the worst thing. Where it's where if your goal is to keep your body in a healthy, alive state up until in a healthy old age, if that is can the you goal, give, can you give yeah, me an example sure. of any other animal uh, yes. doing this where they are doing something unnatural for their own benefit? Oh, I well, I don't know if they're going to do something natural, but I can give you an example where if we were to do something natural, they would ben- the, their body would benefit. For example. example. I can give you an I can give you another I can give you another example in other species where if the if what was happening was unnatural, they would end up living longer and healthier. For example, I one example would be an octopus. So there are, are you familiar with the, um how octopuses end up mating and reproducing? Um I mean is, there's a science to it. <laughs> well there I mean yeah, but so <clears throat> When an when a female octopus and many octopus octopi species end up having offspring, they actually lose their ability to feed. So they won't even if you put food in front of them, they won't actually eat. They will. Um, it has to do with several glands in their brain. There's a mating gland and the feeding gland, and there's a cross inhibition. So once they go through the whole mating cycle and once they have offspring, they will just devote all their energy to their offspring so that their offspring can have the greatest chance that they can at um at uh living their lives even and by the time this is done the female octopus is pretty much dead now if you and it's the female octopus also loses its ability to eat because it loses its desire to eat it loses its hunger it, and the the reason is obvious it's just like well if it would want to eat then it would leave its offspring and then you know something may eat its offspring so if it goes out hunting again or whatnot but it's even to the degree that if you were to put the food in front of the octopus it still wouldn't eat it now if you remove that gland if you were to manipulate that gland artificially, you can actually cause the octopus to regain that feeding ability. And you could give it food and it would eat again. And the offspring would be just fine. And the octopus would be just fine. It wouldn't be basically dead by the end of it. And it could go on and continue living its life. Who's this to is say that that wouldn't have negative so Who's to say that you altering... Well, maybe, well, maybe it would, but it wouldn't be more negative than being dead. <laughs> that's the that's the idea. Like, so, I mean, maybe, you have a choice of being dead. You have the choice. Of, maybe, of, maybe, excuse yeah. me, excuse me. So, yes, there are always possibilities that there can be negative effects of it. However, when you contrast that with the uh, with the alternative of just being straight up dead, I mean, it seems like on the net. It's an advantage. The advantage goes to artificial. The, I, the, the whole idea is that people who make these arguments just have no idea. They have a fundamental misunderstanding of how evolution works. If your goal, it's all with respect to a goal. If your goal is to live a long, healthy life, following a natural evolutionary path is actually a very suboptimal strategy. The reason it's suboptimal is because that's not what evolution cares about. Evolution does not care about you living to a healthy old age. In fact, it's made very uh, it's made numerous trade-offs so that you won't live to a healthy old age. Okay. Yeah, so that's just something I would like you to read up on um because a lot of people who have this intuition that what is natural is good, what is, or, or is it even a heuristic for being good compared to other things, or what we've evolved to eat, or, or any of these behaviors, they often have a fundamental misunderstanding of what evolution even is. And I think that's what's going on here. So would you say the point of veganism 
is to live your healthiest life. Is is that what the ideology? Well, no, I w- that's not what I, my reason for being vegan. My reason for being vegan would be ethical. But because uh, your reasoning is ethical, you you just also believe that you are uh, not lacking, like ethical versus being healthy. You don't think that uh, the ethical is outweighing the healthiness. Like you don't think that there's anything wrong with uh, the way you're eating. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with the way I'm eating. I do think the ethical would probably to be a fully honest, I do think the ethics would outweigh even if there was. But no, I don't think the, uh, the data indicates that the way I'm currently eating and supplementing would indicate that uh, there's anything wrong with what I'm doing with respect to my goals. All right, well, let's, let's say the scenario there was something wrong, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that there is now, but if there was in this world where it was, you would still be vegan knowing that you are uh, not going to reach the peak of your life as in by peak i mean uh maturing maturing as much as you can mature like you're not going to uh reach that peak where you're the healthiest like what wait maturing i'm oh i mean i'm not sure exactly what you mean by body healthy the peak of your life oh yeah no i would still be vegan absolutely Just out of uh, you, the animals, you just, yeah, like, like I don't I think don't that, know. yeah, like let's say, yeah, I don't think that it would be, um, I, I would have a problem with killing a another sentient being just so I can reach like whatever peak, um, peak uber health, like optima- no, optimality not, or whatever, not, like that, that would be like, like really insane. Like, like, Yeah, like imagine doing that. Imagine doing that with with a human. Like imagine saying, imagine if you if it just turned out to be the case. Again, not saying it is the case, but imagine it turned out to be the case that if you were to kill another human and eat its flesh, right, that it turned out that would get you to optimal health. Like you would be the most mature peak performance, at uh, whatever. Um, would you have a problem with that? You have a problem. It's not realistic because that wouldn't be for my best. Say it would be realistic. Okay, well that's just a problem. Let's say, let's say the scenario is I have to kill this person. No, like, not I that you're not food. Food. like I'm starving. You're just changing. And of course, yes. No, I'm not. It's not what I'm asking you. So, let's say that it would be realistic to kill another individual. Let's say we were in this, you know, world where, um, there was a group of people that were just being bred and harvested, and slaughtered. And it just turned out to be that, you know, if you wanted a diet that would give you this optimal health, you would have to purchase their flesh, these uh, other uh, humans. Now, would you have a problem with that, is the question. I mean, it wouldn't, I would only for the fact that, uh, you know, it would be your own, your own that you're uh, killing. When you say your own, what do you mean? I mean, we, we are all born and we all have this tribal instinct, right? That no, we're... They're not your tribe. They're not your tribe? They're, no, a they're not your tribe. They're a foreign tribe, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess, why wouldn't you? Oh, so you wouldn't have an issue with just farming like humans of another tribe and, and, sl- and slaughtering them and eating their meat yeah. if it would improve it, your it health. It meant the continuation of my bloodline. Well, that's, no, no, that's, that's just, that's not the entailment of the hypothetical I gave. I didn't say the continuation of your bloodline was dependent on it. All I said that was dependent on is the difference between very healthy and optimum health. But they're enrooted. Like, they're kind of... All in-rooted. I said was the only, only difference that's entailed is not the continuation of your bloodline. It's the difference between very healthy or optim, optimal health. You can, your bloodline stand, can continue my either way. The purpose of being at your peak is to have uh, your bloodline continue. 
like, like actually if it not, wasn't for it's that, actually I would, not then actually, I would be on your side. I'd be, it's actually but, not the it's actually uh, not again we're going back to this misunderstanding of how evolution works, but we don't even need to go there. So <clears throat> so, so so just to be clear, so if you were to have that extra, you know, the difference between very healthy and optimal healthy, you wouldn't have an issue with rounding up a bunch of foreigners and farming them and slaughtering them and eating their flesh. But the whole the whole point of doing Can you just answer the question before you tell me what the point is? It's a staged question. Yeah, so the question is if if it would make the difference between very healthy and optimal health. Optimal health, yes. Because that, that would that would guarantee or more most likely guarantee the continuation of my bloodline and it would be healthier, right? Okay. That's, so that's, just, that's, yeah, no, it would be slightly, we're stipulating that it would be slightly healthier. So you found something very healthy, but suboptimal. And now if you were to engage in rounding up a bunch of other humans and slaughtering them and eating their flesh, it would give you that little extra advantage in health and be just optimal health instead of very healthy. You wouldn't have an issue with doing this in that case. What if it wasn't very healthy? What if it was... Uh, I didn't, well, that's, that's modifying the hypothetical to a question I didn't ask. Let's ask this one. We can go to another one if you'd like, but I'd appreciate an answer to my actual question before we do that. Sure, Are you going to answer my question? Yeah, I, I would I would eat this other people, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, look, if that's the case, if, if, if you... Um, wouldn't have a problem with just rounding up a whole bunch of people. Um, I mean, look, let, let's just, let's, let me ask you this. Like, let's say, you know, let's say it turned out to be the case that, let's say it turned out to be the case that doing it to children would be really what would be required for optimum. Right. So instead of just adult people, it would be children. Like would you, would you take, would you rip the children out of the arms of, the foreigner's parents, if they're, if they're not your tribe, and then slaughter the, slaughter the children. Drink its milk. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Wait, what did you say? Take the children, I drink the mother's milk. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't say anything about drinking the mother's milk. It turns out, I, I didn't uh, say anything about that. But yeah, you would, you would, okay. So you would rip all the children away from their mothers and then you would just slaughter them and, and eat them if it made the difference between that tiny bit of extra health. Or, um, would you say? If it, if it, if it, if it a small degree, then obviously morally, no. Wait, now but, that's, uh, a, okay, yeah. that's a very different answer now. You said yes, that you would. <laughs> It wasn't a small degree, though. I did. Let's no, say, I said it was. A, I said it was a small degree the whole time. But let's say let's say it's not. No, but I no, but I I said let's say it is, and then you said you would still eat them. I mean, but do you see how you staged them? No, kind I, of like, I staged oh, it the same way the whole time. Now you're giving me different answers. I've, I mean, I've always said that, that your questions have been kind of staged, you know. I mean, I that doesn't answer the question. Just you calling it staged doesn't. T change the fact that you're giving different answers. So let's start again, if you'd like. I got a question for you. I mean, well, you still haven't answered my question consistently. So <laughs> I I'll, answered I'll, it. I'll have to you to answer your question when you yes. can consistently answer mine without contradicting yourself. So again, if there's a, a different, a small difference in health, one is very healthy, one is optimal. You have that little bit of extra health to be optimal. If you were to take other humans and slaughter them and eat their flesh, would you do with that? Do you think there's yeah, a would, problem? With I would that? take very healthy. Like if I would take very very healthy. Oh, versus... okay. You would take very healthy. Okay. Huh. Let's say That's let's say very healthy versus like completely healthy. Let's say it was a par and, and oh, uh, yeah. completely healthy. Yeah, I, I would. would so I can tell you. So if you're answer, asking me that question, my answer would be I would take subpar. I would take subpar over slaughtering other humans. Yes, of course. I don't think that I have the right to go around killing other humans. Like, like for example, let's say there's, you know, there's uh, some, for example, wait, what? 
What if they were animals and not other people? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would. My answer wouldn't change. What if it was a lion? A lion that would eat you. My answer would change because I view predators differently than I view uh, herbivores. You would eat it. I don't. Well, if I would, uh, if it was, um, are you saying asking me if I would eat it if it would result in optimal health? Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem eating it once it's killed. But lions are essentially murderers, on my view. Like they wouldn't be any different than um, someone going. So you would. And itself is a murder. I'm sorry. What? You kill it and eat it because it itself is a murder, and so you can judge it. Yeah, but if it was if it if it <laughs> was that wasn't the case, then that would then I wouldn't be able to just. So, for example, if there weren't any lions, if it was just a bunch of herbivores around me, um, I wouldn't be. I, I would choose the subpar health option, of course. I wouldn't. I mean, that I wouldn't, reality, I wouldn't right? feel, well, I'm just giving you my principle, my ethical principles. I mean, but I don't really see the point in convincing you because you. It seems to be the case that. Um, well, actually, you've changed your view on this. First, you told me you would slaughter the children and drink the milk <laughs> or whatever. But but maybe you were just memeing. But if it turns out to be the case that there's just this, there's no health advantage, which is, by the way, my view. I don't actually think there's any health advantage of an omnivorous diet on the aggregate compared to a vegan diet on the aggregate, when pro- when pro especially when properly supplemented. I don't. And if anything, the point estimates seem to favor um, the longevity of vegans compared to non-vegans. It's just borne out in the data. Okay. So, if anything, you may just be taking a health uh, drop. You may like be slaughtering other beings to just drop your health. If anything. I mean, if you were, uh, like, here, I, I don't know if this is really on the topic, but if your body is, uh, you know, trying to stay alive, trying to, your genes are trying to procreate, in order for your genes to procreate, you and your state need to be healthy, right? In your fertile years. In my, in, like, yeah. You don't need you don't, to be healthy in your at post for your fertile years. You don't need, or at least, or at least there's a lot less of a concern. Uh, in fa- if no, if not no concern, if a negative concern due to pleiotropic antagonism. Okay. Yeah. But your, uh, genes, your genes trade off. The, the, look, here's the whole point. Your genes are going to be very happy making a trade off. Any day of the week. If it means maximizing your body survival during the fertile years at a cost of minimizing your body survival post fertile years. Now, if your goal is to live to 40 um, and you not really care what happens after, yeah, that may be a great heuristic. Um, if you have a different goal than that, if you have a goal to survive longer, it's not a good heuristic at all. It's, t- it's actually a pretty suboptimal heuristic. L- listen to this logic here. Um, so let's say you're in your fertile years or whatever, and you need to have, you know, optimal health. You don't need to have optimal health. Okay. Well. Let's say you're dying. Let's say, uh, let's say an organ is is, is failing. All right. Let, let's just say that, like your liver, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, wouldn't it make more sense, like, to eat something similar to, like, your body's going to try to repair that liver, right? Wouldn't it make sense for you to eat something close in genetics or in DNA or whatever to repair your own liver? No, like, I don't see how that follows. Eat another liver, no. Your body would use that nutrients from another liver to no. repair your liver, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't I don't see how that follows. You don't think how the body no. would be, I, I don't think, think I don't think the most optimal I don't think the most optimal way, like if you 
if you have like an injury to the liver, I don't think there's any reason to believe that the most optimal way to repair that liver is to eat another liver as opposed to like anything like else with like a complete protein or whatnot. In fact, it's probably the case that the most optimal way to repair that liver, if I had to speculate, would be a non-liver food. Would just be like... Oh, yeah, uh, I, I mean, like, I mean, what? You yourself, you're made out of blood and tissues. And and the fact that I'm made, yeah, it doesn't follow. The fact that I'm made, the fact that I'm made, the fact that I'm made out of the same thing doesn't mean I'm going to eat the same thing if I'm going to look to repair something. Like that doesn't, it's just, it's not entailed, doesn't follow. And if anything, from what we understand about biology, it's probably not the case based on how we understand repair mechanisms. Repair mechanisms. Yeah, they're, they're very they're protein intensive they're calorie intensive like the, if you're looking for like some optimal food to eat for like repairing of uh of tissue injury uh, what i would go for is a complete protein with that a diet that has high in calories um, um th there are many uh complete proteins that have better profiles than liver there are many complete proteins that have more protein than liver i don't think that if my liver was injured i would have to the diet it breaks, I'm just going to slap some glue on it. Like, what? if a bolt breaks on a machine, you're going to replace that bolt with another bolt. I don't Am I right? Because if you slap some glue on it, yeah, but it's going to so far. Yeah, but, that, but, that, but that's just not analogous to what we're talking about in biology. I mean, it's it's pretty much a machine. Just like yeah, but it, but it's the repair mechanisms are very different. It's just, it's not fundamentally how we work. It's just not the, it's, yeah, it's just not, it's fundamentally different. How would you go about repairing a failing organ? Like, it depends why, it depends which organ, and it depends why it's failing. I'll tell you what a good way of uh, what a, what a not a good way of repairing a failing organ is. I'll tell you that right now. A very bad way of trying to repair a failing organ is to eat the same organ that's failing. It's just like if you think that's going to repair your failing organ, it's just really fucking stupid. If you eat a healthy organ and yours yeah. is failing, you're going to use that to help repair its own. Use the nutrients. <laughs> It's going through. Well, well, God. No, no, you listen, listen, listen. The point, the point, the point, well, no, it can, it depends why it's failing. It could actually use that organ, the nutrients of the organ, and things can happen that are even worse. It all depends on the context. But the point is, let's say, even if, even if it's the case that it's just going to be an issue of your body repairing it with proteins or whatever, um, based on what we know about tissue repair, you wouldn't. It's very unlikely that you would find the optimal food from the same organ. You would just look for a high protein density food that has a decent amount of calories. That's that with uh, and just uh, and supplement with uh, a multivitamin to just be safe and avoid any nutritional deficiencies. And that would probably be your best bet nutritionally to repair a failing organ. Is uh, in general, there are some specific contexts of certain failing organs where you may want to modulate your different macronutrients or micronutrients or whatnot. But generally speaking, that's what I would go for if you're talking about tissue repair. Um, really, what I would go for is modern medicine. If you have a failing organ, you should have a workup for why it's failing and you should um, have treatment for it uh, to the best of modern medicine's ability. That would probably be your best bet, not any of this natural shit. But if you're asking the question for, from a nutritional standpoint, even then, it's very rare that I would ever think or have any reason to believe that a failing organ would be best suited nutritionally by consuming a healthy organ of the same type. Like, that's just fucking stupid to think that. I mean... I, I really don't see how you could see that, but... Whatever, man. I mean, let me well, let me just ask you this: Do you like? Let's say you had erectile dysfunction. Do you think you like going uh, about, you, dude? 
You you always kind of make it out to be really gross, and then like. Well, how about you just engage with my question instead of instead of um. Expressing you don't like it. So serious question. I mean, look, no, you've 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 said how I couldn't possibly. You you've made a comment on how I couldn't possibly see your hypothesis about eating a healthy organ to repair your unhealthy organs. So my question to you is, let's say let's say just don't interrupt my excuse me don't interrupt my question like I'm just let me ask it. Say you had erectile dysfunction. Do you think your best strategy of improving your erectile dysfunction would be to go about cutting the penises off of others and to c- eat the other penises? I, I would go about testicles, but yeah. yeah. Wait, I don't know. Wait, that's a different organ. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, like, wait, that's not your hypothesis. Your hypothesis so, uh, is the same organ. That's not always the case. Oh, so in the penis case, the correct erect- organ is to eat the testicles. Is that what we're saying? I feel like e- erectile dysfunction comes from the scrotum, though. It's, no, it's actually, the root of it. Actually, actually, there are many cases of erectile dysfunction that are not the root of the scrotum. They're actually the root of the penis. Vascular specific. Yeah, vascular well, I guess. Nerve. I guess yeah. yeah, so if you had a vascular reason or a nerve based reason, for having erectile dysfunction, your strategy would be to go about cutting off the penises of others and eating them. I mean, if it works, yeah. I'm well. No, I didn't ask you if it works. Your whole hypothesis is that this is what would work. Then, then yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So based on your hypothesis, what you would go about doing is cutting off the penises of others and eating them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Same, with, same with, with eyes. I feel like if you have bad vision, I believe if you ate eyes of your vision, one hundred percent. I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You can laugh. I'd I, I'd laugh at it too if I didn't put some deep thought into it. I think that. Do you think? <laughs> wait, yeah. do you think that like if you? Do you think that if you like lost your sense of smell, that ch- cutting off someone else's nose will make you smell again if you ate it? <laughs> or that if you became infertile, you should just drink a bunch of kisses? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, if you couldn't shit anymore, if you had a problem going to the bathroom, would you like eat a bunch of ass? <laughs> Okay, you guys obviously aren't taking it seriously anymore. <laughs> Sorry, it's just such a stupid view. <laughs> well, can you can you see why maybe like if I wanted to improve my eyes, I'd eat fucking carrots? No, Street yes, carrots. yes. Based on what we know, like okay, so depending if depending on what the eyes, depending on why, depending on why. All right, think you can fucking carrots. From the ground, oh, from the well, depending on more. depending on the source of why there's poor vision, if there was a if there was a vitamin A deficiency, I can see how vitamin A or precursors that would could be converted to vitamin A might improve vision. Sure, I don't see how eating eyeballs will improve eye conditions. I'm not aware of any eye condition actually that would be improved by eating eyeballs. Do you think that uh, there needs to be a study done? Some Jew needs to write a study and. That would make me. I don't see what being Jewish has anything to do with this. <laughs> I love the random anti Semitism reveal. Like, who saw that part? <laughs> that, that was, I didn't see that one coming. I have to. Like, it's like usually, Jews just usually, randomly get the mention. Usually, I can <laughs> see it coming. Like, usually, when they when they go with the Jew card, like, and I can see, I can sense when they're about to drop it, but this, I have to say, that was very unexpected. It, it was almost impressively out of the blue. It's like, uh, and Andy hates Jews. It's like, okay, all right. Do you think if some, like, if a woman has trouble breastfeeding, like, if she cut off the breasts of other women and ate it, like, it would improve, like, her ability to breastfeed her kids? See, I, I, I think you're, uh, like, uh, that, that is, to its uh, logical like, you're not being realistic about it, fact, like, Do you think that if, like, someone, like, had, like, a, 
injury where they couldn't walk? Like, if they cut off the legs of others and ate them, like, they'd be able to walk again? I, I think that would be absurd. Oh. Like, oh. I, I, I feel like it works to a degree. Like, if your legs get blown off and you eat legs, I don't think you're going to grow your fucking legs back. All right, so it works. I, 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 so it just works. It just works for eyeballs, but not legs and penis. So it works for eyeballs. Well, I, mean, eyeballs. I lose um, an eye. Um, if you eat eyes, you're not going to grow an eye back, right? But I mean, if if you have bad vision, I couldn't see why your vision would get better. So, like, let's say you but had arthritis. So, so, do you think? Do you think that if you had arthritis, like, let's say someone had like really bad arthritis and they couldn't move, like, bend their fingers or whatnot? Do you think that if they, like, ate the hands of others, like, their arthritis would get better? Um, I, I don't know if I'd go about eating other people's hands to make your hands better. Well, I didn't ask if you would go about it. I would say if they did it, do you think it would, it would make it better? It would make it better. Um, you know, I, I haven't done it, so. Well, I didn't ask if you did it. I, I asked, based on your hypothesis, would it make their condition better? Do, do you think ever maybe there's like a time when? Yeah, am I fucking talking to you? Am I fucking talking to you? I'm not debating you, dickhead. I'm not debating you, retard. Shut up. Gotta wonder if maybe there's a time when it's just worth considering. Like, have I just said yeah. something fucking stupid? Should I, should I maybe just like retract whatever garbage Never. I said that got me here? Does that ever cross your mind? Down your throat. Shut up. Sorry for laughing at your cum guzzling <laughs> <garlic> <laughs> eating. <laughs> hey, speaking of throats, speaking of throats, like if you have a sore throat, do you think cutting the throats out of other people and eating them will make it better? Yeah. If you have a hard <laughs> time taking a shit, should you just like eat people's rectums? <laughs> 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 Do I ever just think maybe you've humiliated yourself and you should just retract what you've said, like, seriously? You, you can't believe that you don't look like a fucking utter idiot right now. That's right, man. My humi humiliation is completely worth it when you fucking die. A fucking... You will die, dude. You're, you're, you're going to get... Uh, you're going to look like a Jew, and you will fucking die. And you're going to look sickly. And I'm going mean, to fucking laugh I mean, at you. We are, we are both Jews, right? How does it feel when you don't like Jews, to just get intellectually destroyed by them. Is that particularly unpleasant for you? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's okay, I, I feel for you. I mean, if he ate my penis, it would be just a circumcised one. I don't know if he'd want that one. Do you think if you had trouble hearing, if you, like, cut the ears off of other people, you'd hear better? See, I, 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 you're, you're just making it sound ridiculous at this point. Well, it might be because it is. Maybe it's just ridiculous. Maybe, maybe the smart move here is for you not to try to defend it anymore and to just say, look, I, I was just wrong. This is just fucking stupid. I retract the view. That would, that would be the smart thing to do here. I need to grow some carrots from the ground. That will fix my eyes. I'm just going to eat some fucking carrots. So fucking bizarre. You, you literally are bizarre. You think I sound bizarre? You're literally fucking brainwashed. Fucking... Do you think if, like, women have um, fertility issues that if they cut open other women and ate their ovaries, like, they would, like, be able to have babies again? Maybe not babies again, but... But... Uh -huh. But what? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it would taste good. Oh, but it wouldn't, like, restore the function of the organ or no, no. by eating them, by eating a healthy organ. You know, like what your hypothesis was. Do you think that eating the brains of others makes you smarter? Like, 
Because, like, if you have, like, you clearly have, like, a damaged brain. Do you think, like, if you ate the brains of healthy people, you would be smarter? I feel like if I ate your brain, it'd probably make me fucking stupider. Right, but let's just say Same. that you were dealing, let's, okay, let's say on your view, you were dealing with, like, a healthy brain, right? Do you think it would, it would make you smarter? I don't think it'd make you smarter, but I think it would make you, uh, it'd, it'd make you, I think you'd be able to do, your brain would process things faster. I don't think it would necessarily make you smarter to an extent. Right, so if, you know, uh, these are just, like, obviously I have not eaten brains, right? I, 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 this isn't like a personal thing that I'm saying. Like, I don't know if eating liver actually 100% replenishes your liver, right? It, it, when you think about it, I, I think it just makes sense. Are you right? almost saying that you're wrong? Can we get that far? Can we get, can we get a... No, I, I don't I think I'm wrong at all. I'm just saying oh, okay, that uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much actual too much. experience to say that it's real. Is this too easy? Do you want me to unmute that other yeah. mentally yeah. Yeah. You yeah. 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 as like a partner or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, can, yeah, this is this is like really low level, yeah, like here. levels. Yeah, give you, we'll give you a teammate because you're just getting the only, annihilated. Here, you're the only uh, you can join. You got to and push to talk uh, though to be able to speak. There's a there's the article online I read. That's the, that's the only backup you have. Oh, this article says uh, carrots will fix your eyes. That that's the only backup you have. Know. I don't know when we ever talked about carrots fixing the eyes except in specific conditions. But listen, if you if you want to make fun of um, reading peer reviewed uh, literature, what's is your if your alternative is to just make things up? I mean, I don't know why you'd even think that would be a reductio. But in any case, um, who the the other guy, your your buddy? Do you do you subscribe to this hypothesis, this organ eating hypothesis, to repair the damage of the organ in question, or do you have like a different theory? If you have like foot fungus, do you think like going about I, chopping I the toes off of other I people? I see that he's unmuted himself. Eddie, you have to use push to talk, so you got to hold down the thing when you're talking. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you, Eddie. Hey, guys. Yeah, do you subscribe to this hypothesis? Which? I wasn't here. Oh, yeah. The, so the hypothesis is that if you have a damaged organ, um, the best way of repairing that organ as a general heuristic would be to eat the healthy organ of another being as close to that organ as you can. Mm, I mean, yeah, it makes sense, but uh, I, have, uh, I haven't done any research. I've just heard sto stories about it from uh, the primitive times where they used to do oh, that. So like if you have erectile dysfunction, but... like to chop the penis off of another and eat it? If it works, maybe. Well, I didn't ask if it works. The whole the, the question. So, like, when you say if it works, like that's just begging the question because the the initial question is if you think it is a general heuristic would get you to it working, not if it works. So know, the hypothesis is. Oh, okay. So you're agnostic yeah. on the hypothesis. But yeah, I just don't know. Do you think like yeah, vision problems like would be um, the best heuristic to restore like? problems with your vision to be to eat the eyeballs of others um maybe. maybe i've heard other people in my group say that and also i mean you just need vitamin a for eyes right i i, I, I mean there's a lot if you only yeah. eat vitamin <laughs> I, I mean i think we're all really curious can we ask what group you guys are from like i'm assuming you're from like maybe spherage server but then again spherage isn't like fucking like nazi right like you guys sound like you're from like a white nationalist place too like where are you guys coming from Make you think that white nationalist? Oh, the other guy started going off about Jews. Oh, <laughs> okay, sure, <laughs> right. But yeah, right. where are you guys coming from? I mean, I mean, we're just we're in both individuals. I'm not sure what you yeah, mean. Yeah, but you just referred to but your yeah, community. I'm just, I'm just wondering what I have a mean. server. Yeah, I have oh. I have a Sveria server. Yeah, yeah. Sfer server. My server. But what word did you just say? It sounded like you said Sveria, isn't that? Yes, yeah, how... Sveria. It's it's how you pronounce it. Right. Like okay. I, I had a feeling you guys might have been from that community. All right. Just curious. Mm -hmm. no, curious. Oh, do, do you have preconceived notions about that, or? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> mm. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I, I mean, I'm not sure what more there is to say. I mean, this is like, yeah. But as a medical doctor, I just have to give everyone advice before I go. Just like, um, just in case anyone was thinking of taking this seriously, uh, don't. Um, if you, this is like a really, really stupid idea. Um, don't engage in it. Anyway, that's that's all I have to say as a final.